channel so today i am going to be teaching you guys how to make um a wig out of a pair of tights that's right guys out of a pair of tights so basically this kind of innovation shall i call it came about when i needed a wig and i had run out of dome caps because i actually buy my dome caps whenever i go to birmingham or whenever I go to London or I order them online but I didn't have any and I wanted to make that wig that day so I thought to myself hmm how can I make this wig so basically what happened was um well I had two problems that made me come up with this tight solution Do you get it a tight solution <laughs> basically I found that um dome caps can sometimes be a bit too thick for some people and um the stocking caps can be a bit too thin. I wanted to find like a medium ground. I just didn't like the feel of the elastic band. I felt like it was too thin and I didn't like the big one because I felt like the big one was too big. And where I normally got my elastic band was from Home Focus. Um, I came up with the tight method for people that just want to use the tight method or people that just have a sensitive head. I'm not sure how to say that word, the, the near word, but if I'm saying it wrong, I'm not sure how to say it, but you use 40, 50 or 60 um, in thickness it has it on the tights um, and that will not rip when you're sewing and it will last and it's durable my last wig which had the red um, ombre kind of thing going on that was made from a pair of tights that, that's actually how the idea of making a wig um, came about so you're gonna use this part of the tights to make your um, cap and then you're gonna use this part of the tights to secure your um, wig so basically this is the wig that I've made. I'm going to go through how I made this wig. I'm going to show you guys. This is the hair um, by Modern Show that they sent me. Um, I already posted a picture and a little video of me on Snapchat. And I'm already getting requests that, oh what hair is that? So yeah, that's the hair guys. I got um, a pack of three or four um, in pennies for four euro. And that is like... You can use two of them as actual tights and maybe two of them to make a wig. So it's it's a really cheap um, alternative and it lasts. I can testify that it lasts because I tried it out firstly on my last wig before I obviously decided to make this video for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how I made this wig now and then I will come back to you guys at the end of this video. So guys, I start off by bleaching my... Um, lace closure and the bleaching case that I'm using is from Superdrug it's only 3 euro 80 and it comes with everything you need including gloves and a little bag where you can put the closure in while it bleaches so I'm just going to bleach it now and guys the thicker the mixture the better so it doesn't sip through to make sure that it bleaches the closure um, and the knots and not the actual hair because I feel like I made that mistake this time um, I had a little bit too much um, peroxide in the mixture and not enough powder so um, it sipped through a little bit but I was able to fix it um, so you couldn't tell so I let the bleach sit for about 20 minutes till it lightens up and then I will show you guys at the end of the video For this um, particular wig, I'm using the 40 denier um, tights. So now I'm just going to measure it to my head and tie a knot at the top so I know that it fits. And now I'm just going to cut it, cut the um, top of the knot and then my scissors are just like <laughs> not having it. <laughs> now I'm just going to fold it over and then secure it with some pins and I'm just going to sew it together. Once it's sewn together, then it would look like this. You won't be able to feel it or see it once the wig is complete. Now I'm just going to start making the wig. I use a bent needle because it makes it so much easier to make the wig. I always start with my closure and I'm just going to secure it by pressing the pin into the, um, the wig head. I'm just going to sew the closure down and each time I sew I just tie a little knot around it just to keep it very tight and secure. My sewing always starts off a little rough but um, after a while I get into the swing of things. Once again I've just secured the first line at the back with my two pins and then I'm just going to start sewing.
I didn't double up on the wefts when I was making this wig just to give it a really really natural and free look. So guys, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again until I get to the top. So I'm just stitching and stitching away. I'm almost at the top and the closer I get to the top, the tighter um, I sew and the neater I sew. <laughs> So now you cut out the part of the closure that isn't sewn down because this is the part that's going to sit on your head and make it look natural. And now I'm just going to measure the leg part of my ties to my head to make sure that um, it fits as comfortably as I like. And now I'm just going to sew it down. And here it is. So this will act as an alternative to your elastic band and secure your wig nicely and comfortably too. So here is the finished wig. It was so long, it looks so small in this um, video, but trust me guys, it was down past my bum. I had to literally cut it. And here it is after getting washed and dried in its natural state. so much for watching my video hopefully this can help um, a few of you guys i have to say it got so much volume especially hair that was 26 inches for it to have so much volume is just really amazing that i actually cut the hair a little bit because i'm five foot three and it was quite long on me it was going down to my butt and it just looked crazy so i just cut it and yeah i forgot to mention that i'm gonna just come closer so you guys can see my closure so this is my closure. I bleach the knots myself. I'm not like a professional or anything, but I just do my stuff as best that I can. So as you can see, this is the stocking part of my tights. My whole wig is really, really secure and tight, but it's not too tight where it's like draining and giving me a headache. So that's what I really like. The part where you sew your cap together, it does not affect your wig at all. You won't even see it if you do it right. So if you guys have any questions at all, leave them down below. So, so guys, guys, this is the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh my God, you guys, you don't know how hot it gets when I'm filming. Oh my gosh. And I found that the like tights could be that medium that ash. Yes, mom. Let me put on some music and do some modeling for you guys. You know, I had to come back quickly and film. This this has a lot of spring as well, a lot of spring and body. So I'm gonna run my fingers through.